Good evening. Some students at South Callaway High School are seeing the results of years of hard work. The school board yesterday passed an expansion to its existing tobacco-free building policy. KRCG 13's Juliet Dreyer is here to explain. Well, Teresa, starting July 1st, 2014, the entire South Callaway campus will be tobacco-free. That includes athletic events. It's a goal senior members of the South Callaway Smoke Busters have had since their freshman year, and now they're seeing it become a reality. Rewarding would be a good word to use. I think it's a great step forward for our school. I just want to help the school out any way I can. They're seniors now, but they were just freshmen when they started creating a tobacco-free campus policy. Their hard work paid off when the school board passed the policy Wednesday night, extending South Callaway's current tobacco policy to cover all district buildings, grounds, and events. That applies to students, staff, um, parents. Parents at games and stuff. That's, I think, definitely a problem. Teddy Weber says even some students who use tobacco accept the new policy. I've talked to them about it, and you know, they're even, they have no problem with it doing a tobacco free campus. They fully understand. Senior smoke buster and football player Garner Rudroff says the new policy will lead to a cleaner campus and playing fields, also a healthier environment for students and student athletes. And it's not just at football, it can be at cross country because I know I have a lot of friends who do cross country too and just running and you hit that smoke. You know, it, is, it makes it harder to breathe. I want to show the, set the best example we can, and uh, sitting at a football game smoking cigarettes is not that, in my opinion. Lindsay even says they plan to phase in the tobacco-free policy so that people have time to adjust. Some people may, may disagree, but we're just going to promote it. This is what we would like to see at South Callaway. This is what's important to us. And, um, you know, we'll deal with criticism and stuff as we go along as we would with anything else. In the meantime, the club is working to promote awareness about the policy by putting up signs and providing alternatives to tobacco. Handing out gum at a game, you know, instead of smoking, you know, chew this instead. Even says they're still working on figuring out exactly how to enforce the policy and what the consequences will be for adults who use tobacco products on campus. Now, if you want to hear the students describe how they felt when they learned that the policy had passed, I've uploaded a video extra on our YouTube page.